Hi, and welcome to Organizational Leadership 4690, the Organizational Leadership Capstone. This is a PowerPoint with voice meant to help you get ready to write your synthetic essay. The word synthetic really means that you're bringing together different ideas. So when you're looking at synthesizing your first three reflective learning courses in organizational leadership, you're going to want to try and find a way to organize a paper that gives a chance for you to show that you understand how those three classes work together. Another way to put it would be to show in your synthetic essay that you understand how each of those reflective learning models has a specific sequence of events or a sequence of phases that you're going to go through. One of the things that you can do to get ready for your synthetic writing is to look at examples of synthetic essays online and look and see different examples of how people make outlines to get ready for writing. One of the first things that you can do is look for what the key features of a synthesis ought to be. It should be able to accurately report information, especially from those three reflective learning courses that you've already taken. It should be organized in such a way that you can see where exactly the sources are coming from, where they overlap, where the different parts of the courses have something in common with each other. And it would be a really good idea to include specific information about the sources and show that you now understand the source material for reflective learning in a, in, in a clear, concise way and that you're able to cite the information carefully. So when you're looking back at those three organizational leadership courses, show that you understand the theories, show that you have a sense now of what the holistic process is between the three classes, the individual self, the self in context, and the self as a transforming learner. And then you should be able to explain how it's a multi-step process. And it would be a really good idea to try and relate that process to some specific examples that you can think of, specific examples from your own life or examples from the course material itself. Show that you understand the course material from those three reflective seminars in your synthesis. As the first writing sample in 4690, you're showing that you are prepared for further work. You're showing that you have an understanding of those reflective seminars that you've already taken. So when you're looking at the idea of explaining background information, this is just some clear ways of trying to explain how instructors are using a synthetic essay, the reasons why one would have you do it, the reason why it helps you as a learner to have to sit back and reflect and explain those different phases of reflective learning in an essay that you have written yourself being able to explain it to others, being able to explain it as if you were telling someone about these courses who had not been in them with you. That's the key idea for this kind of an assignment. So here's the specific assignment itself as it appears in the syllabus. You'll notice that there are explicit instructions about how to turn it in, how to work with the assignment tool in the course, and you're also going to want to make sure that you're taking a look at some different examples. The discussion area of our class is a great place for you to post example outlines that you have created yourself and then get feedback on those outlines. So here's one example of what a three-part paper might look like for a synthetic essay. You have an introduction, you explain specifically by name which of those theories you're going to be using, and in the body you're going to be going through each one in an, organiza in an organized way so that you're showing that you know all the different parts of those theories and then you can combine them and compare and contrast them. Here's another example of an outline with a little bit of feedback. This is the kind of feedback that you can be giving each other in the discussion tool. So remember that it's an important part of this assignment that you are discussing your work with others and that you're posting outlines, getting feedback on your own outline, and then giving feedback to other students in the class too. Here's just a sample of questions that you could ask yourself as you're getting ready to give feedback in the discussion. Are there different things that the peer included or didn't include? Are there specific items that should be included? Did you end up having any points in the synthesis where you were lost? Was it clear? Was the organizational structure working? Mechanically, grammatically, and in terms of spelling, is it well written? Those are the kinds of things that you want to be looking for in terms of giving your peers help during the class. One other thing to mention, remember to include a good work cited or references page at the end of the synthetic essay. It's very important that when you're showing that you understand those different theories of reflective learning, 
that you also have a sense of exactly where they have come from and the material that was used to create the outlines, the learning modules, and the reflective seminar courses. So this is a sample of what a references page would look like, and it's very important that you show how each particular reading has specific bibliographic information. If you're wondering where to find this information, it's actually very easy to find. It's in the syllabus, and it's also within each of the learning module content pieces. So hopefully that will help you get ready for your synthetic essay. Thanks so much for listening, and good luck. Take care.